while the memory one feels new special with the one and them of some I'm letting go what is up everyone welcome back to another adam's awesome projects video and today in this video it is friday august 5th 2022 and believe it or not guys we're actually going to arizona tomorrow so I don't have to go to work till um, 5.30 today, so I get the morning and most of the afternoon to myself, so that'll give me enough time to pack my things and so on. Also, um, our flight leaves at 12.38 p.m. from here in Michigan, and the flight to Arizona is not that long. It's only a four hour and a 30 minute flight. Sometimes it's even uh, shorter, depending. Sometimes the captain makes an announcement saying, uh, we'll land early. Sometimes that happens. So for breakfast today, guys, I stopped at my uh, Dunkin' Donuts and I got some hash browns. And they used to be 99 cents back then, but due to inflation and which all places had to um, raise their prices, they're now like 129, so I had to pay a dollar 47, and that's not bad for a little bit of hash browns. I don't mind paying that much; it's totally fine. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna continue my walking. Okay, guys. So it's Saturday, 12:10 p.m. So I'm here at McNamara Airport. This was one I went to a long time ago when I was a kid when I went to Atlanta, which has the train or airport express whatever you want to call it so uh it's been a while so it's good to remember the memories from my child so our flight boards at 12 38 and we'll be on our way to phoenix grandparents house and also um security went well at the airport and also um the flight i thought it was going to be four hours and 30 minutes but I actually ended up being three hours and uh 30 minutes so that was good also to note um i do have plans tomorrow i'm not sure if i'm going to go to goodwill tomorrow um i am hoping and also, it's a beautiful sunset. I mean, it looks amazing. And it is piping hot during the summer, so we may not walk, you know, a lot. But at least I packed a sun hat to protect myself from the sun. And also, without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, guys, so it is Sunday now, and I'm just looking inside Goodwill, and they've just brought out their Halloween stuff, and these glasses almost look a bit like the ones my grandma bought from a long time ago, and it's really cool. There's also a um, pumpkin plate. It's a $1.49. It's not bad. And they got here. It's 99 cents. Oh, it's a lantern. 
I don't think that would last long because very cheap things don't really last long at all. And as funny as earlier, my dad found a uh, Spider-Man costume, but it was actually for like a uh, kid size. And he was just like, here, Adam, this is for you. <laughs> he was just joking around with me, which was funny. So I'm also in their DVD aisle, just looking around. I don't think they have this. Oh, it's a, what's this? Oh, this is Spider-Man with the full screen edition. What do they want? Wow, 229. Well, better off watching it on uh, Netflix because now Netflix has put all three of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man movies on there. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go move on. All right guys, so I'm outside. It's like around two-ish their time. And I went to um, an antique shop and I found um, a comic book and believe it or not, I got it for 15% off. I got it for 736, which is definitely not a bad deal for that. And also, um, I also called uh, some collector stores like the collector's marketplace and the toying around they said they did not have any so i'm gonna switch up and do something else tomorrow with my aunt we might be going to the arcade and we're also going to see the new movie uh bullet train too and also you guys i'm trying out my arctic hat this is uh as seen on tv product and let me tell you guys it works really great it's a nice sun hat to help protect you from the sun and the strap here uh, adjusts to any size for your head and it keeps you a lot cooler than another hat because other hats would trap in the heat, which is very nice. And also my Battle Vision sunglasses, these things really work. I heard a lot of good reviews on them and they remove like glare and I can see very clearly and not have things looking a lot darker. So these two products, definitely worth a thumbs up. So, without further ado, just gonna continue walking. You know, one of the things we can do too is just make it a very quick vacation for us, like a five day or, you know, and avoid that. Like, sometimes when it gets. All right, guys, so it is Wednesday. I'm in Conwood, it's um, downtown in Arizona, and we've never been a little bit downtown in Arizona, so. It's something cool to look forward to. Um, my dad made the reservation for a Jeep ride. That'll be tomorrow. Um, we're just trying to find places to eat. And we're just getting a little exercise by walking around. So it's something new to put into our adventure. We don't really do family vacations that much because we're so busy with school and other things. So we're just going to continue walking. All right, so we're here at where, Dan? We are at Montezuma's uh, Castle. It is one of our national treasures, right? And if mm -hmm. you look up there, you can see the castle that is built there. They call it a castle, but maybe it was a home. And it was built by the native people before Christopher Columbus even came to the area that's now the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so this is a very important uh, national treasure. So when did uh, Christopher Columbus, did he discover it in uh, 1492? Yes. So they think that this castle up here, which you can pan up there and see, was made probably in 1200 AD. So even before Columbus came. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool. Thank you, Dad. By the way, model of Montezuma Castle. On the top floor, the elderly village lookout keeps his solitary vigil. His eyes search for approaching danger to those working the fields below the castle. It seems that over the ages, children and their actions change very little. On the fourth floor, you'll find a concerned mother scurrying to reach her adventuresome son, precariously balanced on the edge of the roof. On the third floor, a 
an aging man leads his blind wife across the balcony. You'll also meet women busily preparing food, getting supplies from storerooms, making pottery and grinding corn. Usually women ground the corn, their staple food, only in small as needed quantities and prepared it in various ways. Weavers use the second floor loom to weave cotton breech cloths, bags and blankets. Today you can see examples of their varied weaving patterns in the visitor center. Alright guys, so it's Thursday and we're just out on our Jeep ride and it's really outstanding. You're getting a nice, beautiful view of me driving, well not, I'm not driving, our tour guide Joe is driving, but you're getting a nice view of us uh, passing by some beautiful trees and beautiful wooded area and there's going to be a lot of cool things that Joe is going to show us. So we'll show you as soon as we drive. It's only like 15 to 20 minutes he said. So. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so that is a wrap for the whole trip of me visiting Arizona. It was so beautiful. I mean, I had so much fun with the... Um, Sedona trip because you really cannot go wrong with Sedona and not only that um, our flight takes off tomorrow at 12 that's uh, Their time not our time. So our time uh, is completely different than Theirs because like if it's nine o'clock um, Their time it's like 12 o'clock in our area. So overall I had so much fun it was such a blast to experience something new because sometimes when we experience new things we just we get nervous and you know that's normal but also the hotel we stayed at had like a gym it had a pool it was pretty cool and not only that the gym is open 24 hours that means it never closes so you can even go overnight to get a little overnight exercise so if you guys really like my video of me going to Arizona, like, share, also subscribe if you haven't already, and also be sure you turn on notifications so you get notified about all the content that comes out, guys. So this is Adam from Adam's Awesome Projects, signing off.